Hey, good evening, YouTube. How y'all doing? This your boy, Rob Thomas Jr. This is the real news behind the news. Oh, yeah, today is November 4th, 2019. And I want to do this in response to one of uh, our subscribers who um, just gave me another comment saying that all his comments on our uh, channel, on the stuff that we put up on our channel, is being erased. What, what, what we have to realize is that long as a black man is entertaining y'all with some old jigaboo shit, some old step and fetch ass Negro type shit, or we talking about R. Kelly, or some shit that don't really uh, make a difference in your day to day life, YouTube gonna let that slide. When we, when we tell y'all about white supremacy, when we tell y'all about, you know what I'm saying, police brutality, when we tell y'all about real issues like black on black crime, black on white crime, white on black crime, when we tell y'all real issues, YouTube don't want y'all to hear that shit. So they unsubscribed almost a thousand of my subscribers at one point, and I'm having people telling me now, just like this young brother, I take that as a young brother, who said that his comments keep getting erased off of my YouTube channel. And I don't erase them. So that lets you know YouTube is heavily off into the censor, uh, into uh, censoring our uh, page. So what we really need for you all to do, man, is overwhelmingly share our videos. Overwhelmingly hit the like button for our video. Because if you all are sharing and liking our videos, that means the more subscribers we get, YouTube is more inclined to allow them subscribers now to stay because they see that you all want to hear what I'm saying. You all want to um, communicate with us and voice your opinions. But guess what? By them censoring me, that takes away your voice. Because you all know what I'm saying is the truth. And I really, I'm really grateful and appreciate all of you all who are subscribed to my page. Because I don't consider y'all followers. I consider you all as leaders who are trying to continue to seek out truth, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That's what we do here at The Real News Behind the News. I was going to do a whole nother video <laughs> um, in place of this. But when that, uh, when that person, uh, I think his name was Melanated something, when he asked, when he said, why is my videos, keep, my, my comments keep getting erased? And I didn't know that this brother was commenting. Because normally when you got a YouTube channel, somebody makes a co uh, comment on one of your posts, you get a notification. But I get no notification. You know why? Because we're telling y'all the truth, man. And... This is another thing I want to talk about. The other video that I was really going to do is not meaning to offend any of you religious people in no matter what denomination, whether you Christian, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhist, um, New, um, New Age. All that religious shit is bullshit, dog. I'm, I'm just being real. I was talking to my one of my best friends, pastor today, and um, the conversation came up uh, uh, about um, we were doing a little job and the trailer needed to be parked. Now, I respect Pastor Mays with all my heart, but the truth is, man, do you think these niggas give a fuck out here in these streets about you believing in Jesus that they won't take your trailer? You got niggas right now so caught up in, a, in, in, their, in their warp system mentality They'll be like, man, look what God just blessed us with. This whole trailer sitting right here. Them niggas will steal your trailer, saying that God put it, there, put it right there for them to steal it. But Negroes around here steadily telling Jesus to take the wheel. Well, guess what? Let me show y'all some real shit. Jesus don't even have a driver's license. That nigga didn't even own a donkey. But every time you tell him to take the wheel, he get behind the wheel driving a car that you sitting in the back seat, he up in heaven driving that motherfucker by remote control, and then you wondering why black folks are running into these crooked ass police and running in the trim. Because you're letting somebody who was given to you by your slave masters run your life. 
Man, everybody's talking about them. God is good to me. I just bought, uh, he just made way where the bank gave us a loan. We got a $200,000 house. Guess what, nigga? That wasn't God. It was the bank that gave you that loan. Miss that motherfucking payment. Miss six payment. And see do God come down here and step in and stop that bank from taking your house. Man, at what point do we as black people get off this religious bullshit which has been keeping us bound for the last 400 years? Let me ask you a question. How is it that you going to sit up here and worship a God that was given to you by your slave master? Because let me tell you, Negro, all those Negroes in, in America, something. Guess what? If you would have never been in America, you still been in Africa, nine times out of ten, you would not be Christian. You would either be practicing a real religion, which is African spiritualism, or you'd be doing Islam or something like that. But you would not be no Christian. But you still be sitting around here telling, I mean, uh, listening to somebody that tells you, well, slaves obey your master. Nigga like me, I'm like, fuck that. Then you tell the, the slave, after you obey your master, if your master hit you in your right jaw and break that motherfucker, he wants you to turn your left jaw and let him hit you in that. Fuck that. Ball your fists up or even look like you want to swing. We got a problem. I didn't read the Bible. Get what? I used to be a, a minister myself. But I realized it's bullshit. All that shit is meant, whether it's Islam, Christianity, all that shit is meant to keep you passive and docile and not meant to challenge those who are in authority preaching this uh, bullshit indoctrination propaganda to you, man. I'm not here trying to judge nobody's religious belief because I do believe in God. There's only one God. But this religious shit they got us in telling us Jesus. I mean, I'm going to ask y'all something. Here in America, do you think Jesus, who's right now, who got slaughtered, got beat up and hung on the cross, do you think he's going to come down to the neighborhoods of Freeport, Baltimore, Chicago, Los Angeles, Detroit? I mean, he should up, Jesus should have been in heaven right now with all these gold streets, streets paid out of gold, gates made out of pearls, diamonds and silver and shit everywhere, everybody singing and praising him, and then his father tell him, I need you to go down there and help them niggas in Baltimore. I need you to go down there and help them niggas in, on, in, in Freeport, on the Cooper Road, or Cedar Grove. You know what Jesus is going to be like, man? Why the fuck would I go down there and pop and let one of them niggas kill and rob me when I got all this gold and shit up here? That's really what you are worshiping, a fantasy, man. Not trying to judge y'all or put y'all down, but that's the reality. Man, stop sitting up here letting your slave master dictate to you how you respond to um, to real life situations. Because I'm going to be real. Half of us may go out and make the most fucked up decisions that we can make. And as soon as it turns bad, the first thing we're going to say the devil is busy. Now, nigga, that was your fault. What you did. The devil didn't have nothing to do with it. If he did, all he did was put the temptation out there. It was you who went and acted upon it. At what point do we start taking responsibility for our actions and our lack of action? Stop listening to these slave masters dictate to us who God is. Because guess what? Your slave masters got heaven right here on earth. Why we got to die to get to that motherfucker? Why we got to die to get to heaven? I could believe in hell way faster than I believe in heaven because we as black people live in that shit every day. We live in hell every day. You know what I'm saying? But the people who taught us about heaven and hell, heaven and hell, and the reason why they taught you about it is because if you don't do what they tell you to do, they want to put you in hell. But as long as you old, old step and fetch ass Negro, yes sir, boss, I's going to be a good nigga because Jesus going to let me get in heaven. As long as you believe that, man, guess what? They going to still, still have heaven on earth and you got to die to get to that motherfucker. You got to die before you get to heaven. So why would I believe in some shit like that when I'm dead? I won't even know I'm there. Hey, man, religion is the worst thing that ever happened to black people. I'm just keeping it real. This is probably going to be one of my most aggressive videos. But I need you all, if you all understand what I'm saying, to hit the thumbs up. To hit the like button. Hit the share button. Now, I know a lot of you Christians ain't going to like it, but guess what? I really don't give a fuck. 
Because the truth is what it is. It's time out, man, to stop sitting up here praying to somebody who don't even really exist in heaven to come down here and change shit for us on earth. And that shit ain't happened in 400 years. And we still sitting around here talking about, Lord, don't move this mountain. Man, get the fuck out of here. Then notice, even in the Bible, they tell you to be a, a submissive to your master. But when David had an enemy, David didn't pray, Lord, forgive them. No, David was like, Lord, I wish you cut their fucking throat. Everybody that comes against me, Lord, in your name, I pray that you strike them down in the most horrible way. And guess what? God did it for David. When we going to start being real David? When we going to start asking God to give us justice and retribution against those who have spitefully misused us? Think about it, y'all. Be blessed.